Hey everybody, I'm here to tell you that I guarantee you all sinners go to hell. I guarantee it. And I'm not talking about God or heaven, I'm talking about here on earth. Because I was getting frustrated today thinking about how many people are trying to rip me off. <clears throat> they steal gas from your gas tank. They do repairs for you. And they overcharge you. And when you're not looking, they steal things. Humans, a lot of them, are thieves. They rip people off. They take advantage. They abuse. And you wonder, there must be some justice. You look at uh, um, what's going on with Israel and Palestine. Bad guys making choices that hurt innocent people and innocent children dying. Pakistanis dying in the hands of Americans. Vladimir Putin and Russia oppressing all of these people. The Chinese government oppressing, oppressing all of these people. Um, all of these powerful individuals and individuals who aren't very powerful, who are kings, who, who, uh, um, who have an iron fist over their children or their animals, whatever it is. There's justice for all of these people. Here's the justice. The justice is you have to live with yourself. And if you can, look outside and look at your brand new car and your brand new house and all the nice things you have and know that there are people starving and you're not doing anything about it. You bought into this concept that it's okay to have everything and not give. You're suffering. You have hell happening inside you. That's why so many people are depressed. Why is it there's a record number of people on depression medicine? Because they're in hell. And they don't even know why they're in hell. Not because there's a God chasing them. Because built in them is a sense of morality and justice and what's right. So whether or not God comes down on you in the end, I'm not even dealing with that now. I'm dealing with the fact that you kill innocent people, you hurt innocent children, you take advantage of people, you rip them off financially or whatever, it weighs on you. It wears you down. These things we do, they weigh us down. They wear us down. And sometimes we don't even know we're being worn down. We just know we need to take, we need to take medication. We need to take pills for our depression. We need to drink alcohol. We need to smoke cigarettes to escape, to have a moment of escape from this Boiling, this simmering depression, this hell that we live in, that we've placed ourselves in by denial, by denying all of the shared humanity that we have. And again, if you're able to justify pressing a button that kills innocent children, <clears throat> oppressing innocent people, torturing, ripping people off in any way, if you can do that and you are completely guilt-free and you're living a happy life, then you truly haven't lived. You miss the whole experience of living on this planet and you're just another consumer who will someday meet the ultimate consumer, which is uh, um, your death. But you're really, you're really dead here anyway. I mean, I know there are things that I need to do for the environment and I don't, I don't know if I can make a big impact, but the fact is if I do nothing, instead I just treat myself to whatever I want, that hell that lives inside us is going to grow inside of me. And it's going to get worse and worse. So nobody ever gets away with anything. Anything bad you've ever done, you don't get away. Because when you lay to bed at night, it plays in your head. It tortures you. It owns you. And if it doesn't own you, you're not even living. You're not participating in the planet the way, the way humans live, the human experience. You're missing the human experience. Let me know what you think.